In his remark, the executive director of Greater Returning Foundation, Comrade Nosao Kundia, who is also one of the returnees, said the event was to showcase various skills acquired by returned migrants in a bid to attract patronage from government and members of the public. Comrade Okundia appealed for support from Edo State government, corporate organizations, and kind hearted Nigerians to assist the return migrants. The title of our program is Return, uh, return Migrant God's Talent. It's for us to showcase our hand skills for the world at large to know that return migrants have talents and we have potentials. That's why we are here. So that people would not see us as maybe we are not important to the society. That's why we are here. We, we organize this program to see how we can also get people to patronize us in every area of, special, uh, of our interest or specialization. The return migrants showcase their talents in various skills in fashion designing, hairdressing, makeup, shoe making, baking, bead making, amongst others, to the admiration of guests present. Some of the migrants who returned to the country express gratitude to the executive director of Greater Returnee Foundation, Comrade Nusa Okundia, for the initiative. I want to really thank all the organizers for organizing this program because it's a free program for me to showcase my talent. So I'm so happy. And I'm excited and I thank um, Greater Returnees for giving me this opportunity to showcase my skills. Some guests, including a representative of the Nigerian Immigration Service, advised the return migrants to be focused even as he encouraged youth to acquire vocational skills. It's a good thing because what they have learned here is to bring out revenue for the state. And also, it will eliminate the issue of social vices. But what you have seen today, it shows that they are already employers of labor. The event also featured presentation of awards to Professor Yinka Mogbe, represented by Barrister Lilian Garuba, and some return migrants for their successful training programs. <laughs> Rosalind Evorami reporting.